there. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Angie and I'm a chemist who loves makeup. So we're going to be looking at some TikToks of DIY makeup and I'm going to explain to you why this isn't a good idea. By looking at this, I'm not trying to hinder anybody from DIYing cosmetics or learning about cosmetic formulation, but I'm just going to show you some of the things that could be problems and things that people don't necessarily look out for. So you have aloe vera, rose water, and glycerin. There's no preservative in here. You're gonna have an environment that's very, very prone to microbial growth. This is the problem we'll see with a lot of these is you have glycerin, which is very good at drawing water to itself. Your setting sprays that you'll buy from the store have preservatives in there. And the one she's using is very basic, glycerin, water, and whatnot. I'm sure you could find something that's drugstore related. That would be a much better alternative to having a product without preservatives. So personally, I just think this is a very ineffective product. So the form that those pigments are in, in the in the highlighter palette, aren't gonna mix into that Fix Plus spray well. It's water, glycerin, water soluble things. You need other ingredients to help mix, mix those pigments in. If anything, if you shake it, it's gonna suspend them, but the particles might be too big. They don't even come out through the spray. So that seems like a really waste of combining your products. I know there's sprays out there that have shimmer in them. Go for those. Those are gonna give you that effect that you're looking for. So let's talk about this one. So crayons are, in my opinion, are not safe to put in your makeup. Cosmetics have colorant regulation. The FDA has an approved list of colorants. Where they can go, can you use them for eyes? Can you use them for lips? Can you use them for that? So some of the ones that she's using, particularly if there's ever a green or a blue that you're incorporating, could not be okay for you to ingest and therefore isn't okay in lip products. Also, colorants that are using cosmetics, if they are one of these synthetic colorants, they are gonna require all this testing to be done, including things like heavy metals. In this case, I know these crayons will say non-toxic, but that is in the event that you have a child who just ate a crayon. Are they gonna die right away? No. That doesn't mean that it's non-toxic to be using every day as your lip product. This is a very bad use. If you wanna start playing cosmetic chemist in terms of colors and whatnot, I would recommend go buying a lip palette, mix some lipsticks up in there. Do not do this. This, is, this seems very irresponsible to me. get craft glitter and put it on your eyeballs. <sighs> First of all, there's the eye issue. These could have very sharp edges. They could get into your eye. They could cut your eyeball. Not good, not good. Secondly, I know a lot of companies do have not safe for eye use glitter that are meant for like body and face. Those are still cosmetic products. So the ingredients that go in them have to be safe. Whether or not it's safe on your eye, there's also the issue of what is made out of them. Is there heavy metals in it? That would be an important part of it being a cosmetic ingredient. You would make sure it doesn't have a lot of heavy metals in it. You would at least make sure it's small enough to not do damage on your face. No, please don't do that. Please don't do that. Good Lord. If 
people decide on their own to do that, that's one thing. But for people to be out on the internet recommending people do that, mm -mm, uh -uh, don't like that. So that is a way better alternative to the other option we saw. If you're gonna use a colorant, use it for something that was in a cosmetic product. Make sure, if you're gonna use an eyeshadow, please make sure that the colorants in them are approved for lip use because I don't want anybody consuming anything that's like not supposed to be going on the lips. So this one I don't recommend because, the, again, this is going to be water based. So in this one they're using water, baby, baby shampoo, baby wash, and oil. So they're adding three tablespoons of coconut oil, water, and some baby wash. First of all, that's going to separate out. So that's already a fail on this part. Secondly, you're introducing a lot of water in there. Secondly. You are using a baby wash that would have some of preservative, but this still seems to me to have too much potential to grow microbes because you are using so much water. So again, don't recommend. That's the biggest problem with these DIY cosmetics is that you don't have the proper preservative system in place to ensure that these aren't gonna have microbial growth, which is very harmful to you. inherently bad. I don't really have a problem with that one. I think the food coloring is kind of unnecessary, but, and I did like that they said lip balm oil. They're implying that it should be something that's actually intended for lip balm use. So that one, that one's not too bad. I don't mind that one very much. I hope you enjoyed going through these DIY videos with me. If you see any other sort of little short videos, either via Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, if that you think I could speak on from my perspective as a chemist, please tag me in it on Instagram, share it with me on Twitter, you know the drill. Um, and if you learned something today, make sure you click the subscribe button so we can talk more about the science behind makeup and skincare. And with that, I will see you in my next video. Bye!